How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf, and uh, today, of course, got the number one top favourite goddamn horse of a vehicle out of all the scouts, trucks, everything. This is my favourite everything. <laughs> this is the this is the one I go to all the goddamn time. You'll see it in all my footage. <laughs> it's a goddamn beast. I mean, where to even start? The video is just over half an hour. I couldn't possibly get it any shorter than that. That's what she said. And uh, it was also 33.33. I hope it stays that when I upload it. But yeah, a low finale confirmed. Um, yeah, like I say, where to start? I mean, it motors along pretty nicely. It's not rapid. It's not like any of the fast vehicles or anything. But it's quicker than stuff like the Tatran and that. It's certainly quick enough that I enjoy it. And along with it going this speed, it still turns pretty nicely. As far as scouts go, it does go across terrain pretty nice. Like, I've brought a lot of scouts down here and they go pretty slow. I wedge myself in the uh, dirt there for a second but I could put it in high now as well and it's uh, yeah it's ticking along nicely although I'll be honest I don't normally take it out too often like that like I wouldn't normally drive to the other side of the map with it I'd just for the 10 seconds it takes to stick it in the back of a uh, dolphin with a crane and I'll just take it that way and I can always just reverse and jump out the um, outside board if I want to carry on using my loaf as normal but yeah, as you can see, it definitely doesn't get too held back by the terrain or anything. It uh, ticks along nicely. Even going down here where I've been cutting through in a lot of the other trucks. I suppose the petrol station is just behind me. I have had to edit quite a lot out of this video because I easily, easily could have made this video three hours long. It probably it would have took me less time to edit if I made this video three hours long. It, a lot of the time, a big chunk of my editing is... Uh, yeah trying to get the clip size down. So I'm at the drilling site or whatever it's called in Black River, uh, just having a little zip around, obviously I didn't do the actual uh, contest mission, but just as I was passing, winch this trailer, and yeah, as you can see, one thing I do think the loaf's pretty cool at is uh, considering like how compact it is and that, and the fact that a lot of scouts don't really weigh it, like, I feel like it has very good towing power and it actually grips into the ground very well and uh, pulls a lot of stuff along that you wouldn't really expect it to do or flipping trucks and so on and I'm not 100% sure why I've got a sort of feeling even though it's got the smallest tyres in the game I think 33 inch is like the biggest tyre you can have it also seems to like dig down into the mud when you want it to once you're towing something and you kind of stop rather than just pulling back all the time it kind of digs in really well and yeah, like I said, flips a lot of stuff, toes a lot of stuff that you uh, really wouldn't expect. And I'm not trying to say now, oh, it's the best thing for towing trailers around and stuff. It's not. But the fact that it can do it, and it can do it like not to where it's a complete joke. Like, there is some scouts, if I was doing this, I mean, you might be alright just going along flat ground. But yeah, just things like pulling out over that uh, like mound of stones or whatever that was there. This thing just ticks along nicely. Just one of many things and another thing. I mean, look at the turning circle. Turns like a goddamn housefly. Still made it. Of course it made it. It's a goddamn professional. And we're off again. And at this point, I've been doing quite a lot of laps of the map. I mean, look at like the Ferrari badge. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't blame you if you mistaked it for such a thing just then. Yeah, I've been flying around for ages. Uh, I've still got plenty of fuel. It's very good at not taking damage. Because it's not rapid it doesn't smash itself to pieces along the way like I noticed that when I was doing the um, rally stages and surprisingly the loaf always got like 10 or 15 seconds max uh, longer than the Tager and the Tager's like rapid and very capable and all the rest of it but a lot of the more rapid vehicles eventually you get like high in the gears you start to get a bit loose lose control slip out to the side of the road you have to slow down again work up through the gears this thing's just so nice and consistent and smooth that it actually made it like on the other to the other side of the rally stages. Yeah, not far at all. And the Tager was pretty much the quickest. I also usually give the Tager like three or four runs, whereas the Loaf I always just did one run and that was it. Because I like messing around with the Loaf so much anyway. I didn't want to like <laughs> waste my daily allotted Lauf Lauf <laughs> my daily allotted Loaf time by uh, just doing something as normal as a rally course. But, yeah, I mean, if you need a loaf, need a loaf in a pinch, of course, emergency deployment loaf also. Got some other loaves ready, so we grab one. I mean, I'm double loafed up, 
double O loaf in about a second, a second or two, and we're off. Of course, in the Dolphin, high gear, motoring along just fine. I've got a roof rack now. I've got uh, an autonomous winch and an advanced scout winch and a advanced whatever the hell is on the Dolphin, an advanced Dolphin winch. I mean, another reason it's goddamn professional. Every time I fly off this cliff, I forgot I even had that tatter in there. <laughs> I mean, see? Just get back to its wheels. Which is less time messing around, less time recovering to the garage and having to drive back to where I've just been because I rolled. Because the loaf hardly ever rolls, and like I say, if you put the uh, autonomous on it, then 99.9% .9 like, unless you somehow roll in the middle, like the arse end of nowhere where there's not a single tree or anything, then you should be pretty good. So uh, just for the sakes of it, kind of like, to get the footage I really wanted for tonight, I wouldn't be able to just do it in one night, I'd need to go moting around for like, and you know, make it kind of happen organically. Tonight I've just kind of been staging a lot of things because I wanted to get it all like, in the same video. Um, yeah, so I flew a collob off the hill, off the cliff, sorry, uh, rolled it onto its side, of course, sent in the loaf, got them horse of a vehicle. I just drove behind this cargo, it's just natural, I don't know, <laughs> if I find something to wedge behind, I'm wedging behind it. I have flipped the club before though without a wedge, I believe it's in one or more of the videos anyway, but yeah, that's the method I went for. I mean, it may, it's bloody good at doing its own little wedge thing. See again, it's like three times out of three so far. Horse of a vehicle, lands on its wheels, coca loaf. The dolphin actually landed on its wheels as well, so I purposely rolled it just because I wanted to uh, do this. As you can see, no wedges, no nothing. The Dolphin is not the hardest to flip, but it's not the easiest either. It can be a bit of a pain in the ass to flip the Dolphin, but Loaf's got it handled. I mean, yeah, this is more the way I travel around the map. Stick it in the back of a Dolphin or whatever truck it is you fancy, whether it's Boron Grad, the Tega. I don't know. Well, it can go on the back of all sorts. You'll see a little bit later on, but you've seen it throughout all the videos. It's Anything that can have a sideboard, obviously it can go on the back of them, but it can hang on the back of a P16, it can go on the back of a club, it can sit on the back of an F750, it can sit sideways on the back of a Lodestar, it can go on the roof of a Dolphin. You can do all sorts, I've put about, I believe it was five of them on the twin steer. But if you've got any room whatsoever, the chances are you can squid your loaf in there somewhere. And then yeah, more roof rack points. So that's another good thing with it as well, while I'm on it, is uh. The roof rack points, uh, the repair points, yeah, you get 300 in the loaf, and things like even the um, tattering, which is his one thing that does kind of put me off the tattering among a, like, it's a pretty slow, but the tattering's roof rack has only got 150 repair points, which I think is too low, I think they've over nerfed that, but yeah, it is what it is, like, this has got literally double the amount, and as you can see, I was, let's say I'm out in the dolphin and I'm a uh, flying around. I ended up popping a tyre. I think I damaged the suspension. Oh, I didn't bother repairing the suspension in the end. I, I did this on purpose by the way. Drove into that post. Obviously the Dolphin didn't take any damage because it never really does. But because the loaf was winched nice and tight up against the front of the sideboard uh, it didn't like smash into the sideboard. It was already pressed against it sort of thing. So uh, yeah the loaf didn't take any damage as well. So the pair of them together I've, uh, yeah, I can hit a, I can hit a lot of things and still keep going in these. And when I did the farm, like knocking all the trees over, this is one of the few vehicles that I could I could knock a thousand trees in a row over. Like the dolphin just never takes damage. And uh, yeah, obviously the loaf's goddamn horse of a vehicle, so he knows what he's doing. But as you can see, travels along nicely everywhere. I know this is a bit more the dolphin at the minute, but I've got options. <laughs> I've got loaf options. If something happened now, well I suppose really, and I, I show it a little bit later in the video, but if I rolled now, this is like, like someone was saying as well, like why say would I choose this over other scouts, it's all of it together is like, this is small enough to fit in the sideboard, its weight is very low down, it's very good at landing back on its wheels, it's very good at not rolling in the first place, it's got a very big roof rack, it doesn't use a lot of fuel, uh, it's got an extremely good winch. It's extremely good at digging into the ground and towing stuff. And like I said, there's all sorts of things I'll have to. I'll, I'll keep remembering. Like now, though, when I've, I again purposely rolled that um, white western star. Funnily enough, it's a bit of an awkward sod to roll back. But as you can see, the loaf's 
like pulling the whole truck up the hill why it doesn't just flip at the minute there must be like the weight mechanics must uh, a lot of the weight in the white western star might be in the roof so it's kind of like tucking under the winch and it's just dragging it up that way instead I'm not really sure but regardless the uh yeah a lot of stuff especially scouts would probably struggle to flip that twin st uh, the white western star let alone drag it on its side up the hill and obviously I can't help that it wasn't going to flip there but as you can see I just drove near it to make the uh, like physics kind of let go of it let it start rolling again went for it again and as you can see now instead of just dragging me back down the hill the loaf really plants itself in the ground kind of digs itself little holes in the ground and then it sits in it and its back end gets nice and down and then that's it it's like it almost creates its own wedge when you need it like instead of having to bring another vehicle and wedge it along and that's another thing I suppose like you could argue the point like if I had a tattering now it would flip that white western star no problem and I fully agree but to get the tattering to this point I'd either have to now go back to the garage and drive it here or be dragging it behind me the whole time in the white western star just so that I would have it here at my convenience like when I brought the white western star I dragged the loaf with me so it's just one of them where even if I'm not specifically out in the loaf I'm out in the dolphin or the voron grad the taiga etc just yeah stick a loaf on like a backpack and it's got everything from spare tires to fuel to repair points and uh, yeah a spare winch and it's surprisingly decent at like pulling a lot of stuff for the money this thing is it's only like 11 grand or something stock they're about 35 to 42 grand upgraded depending what attachments and blah 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 you have on it but yeah and I, what have I got now about 12 so I'm getting on for about half a million quid's worth of loafs <laughs> I've definitely got plenty more to go I would like at least 24 loafs because that was my lucky number and that sounds like a pretty nice that's about around a million quid's worth of loafs that'll do uh, yeah you can see it along here at the quarry obviously in mud it's not rapid in mud or anything, I wouldn't even say it's amazing in mud, but compared to like the Dolphin obviously is a lot better in mud, a lot of the trucks are better in mud. I still think this is like surprisingly good, one of the best scouts in mud and rough terrain, even though it has got tiny wheels, and I know it does get stuck in boggy mud and that, so does a lot of stuff, the uh, Lodestar almost gets stuck, oh, I got stuck a couple of times yesterday when I was messing around, not saying other scouts wouldn't, but yeah, it's... I don't really find places that the loaf gets stuck that other stuff wouldn't, but worst case it's got a pretty massive long winch to uh, grab onto, like, yeah, it reaches so far that, again, it's pretty unlikely, unless you just go to the middle of nowhere, like when I was driving up that mountain on the corner of uh, Island Lake, but other than that there's always something around usually within the loaf's reach. So I climbed up that hill, again at the top of the hill it sits in like its little loaf hole, and uh, as you've seen in other videos, I've towed many, many things up this hill. And there you go, you see the loaf is not pulling backwards. I've also got a ramped flatbed, which is an awkward sod to drag up here, with two concrete slabs on it. And the White Western Star is also pretty gutless when it comes to this situation. There's no way in hell the uh, White Western Star was getting up here on its own. But yeah, see the loaf in its little loaf hole? It dragged it up high enough that then... I could move the loaf forward and blah blah blah, but I can't even be asked. It was like I just stick a winch to the tree. If it can drag the uh, truck high enough that it can reach the tree, then that, that's how I do it normally. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, because I know I can, because it's a goddamn professional. Jumped off the uh, hill. You see? Like, sorry, I would say honestly, about like 98% of the time it gets back to its wheels. It's ridiculous how many times I jump this thing off all kinds of stuff. Like, you get to see about 5% if that, of <laughs> what I put in the videos. Um, yeah, I go everywhere in this thing. I'd love to know how many hours I've spent in this. I wish it had a proper sort of odometer where it would count up how many miles or whatever you've done, because I bet I've done bloody loads in this. Well, then again, actually. I'd take a lot of that off because a lot of it would have been sat in the back of a sideboard. So uh, I suppose it's it's been a lot of miles in this game. And it's drove a bloody lot of them. It's probably my most driven vehicle in the game. This and the Dolphin, I would say. You see as well, I mean, find another scout that can do this. Test it out for yourself. I've not tested other scouts, but I would still bet not many, if any, could do this. I'm, um, I'm at the quarry. There's like a big 
mountain rock overlooking the quarry. Uh, yeah, one loaf at the top, one loaf at the bottom. Stick the winch on, and I'm dragging the other loaf up a vertical hill. Well, up literally, yeah, a vertical cliff face. Uh, I only had the rock to grip on as well, and it's with the muds. Like, normally muds are terrible on rock. But, well, yeah, I mean, again, the loaf just knows what he's doing. He's got his horseshoes on. Grip like a beast. So I did that exact same thing. If you remember in one of the videos, I pulled a loaf up here. I did the same thing, accidentally flew off the front, <laughs> but towed it back out. See? King of the game. Get yourself a loaf. Everybody needs a loaf. Everybody needs at least minimum of two loaves, but that'd be like severe loaf deficiency if you ask me. Just out of my own curiosity, I, uh, I brought another loaf. Well, I had another loaf with me because I always bring the gang along. Got to bring the boys out. Um, yeah, this one's got a roof rack on. So he's doing like a prancing Ferrari horse. So even with the roof rack on, even though that does add some weight and blah blah blah, it still managed to drag that up a vertical hill. <laughs> Coca Loaf's bumper was catching, so I had to like let off the accelerator. You see, it's just got some bloody good pulling power for what it is. And yeah, again, I get I could probably park a Tatran at the top or a Dolphin and winch a loaf up there, but get a Tatran or a Dolphin up there, you know, it's like this thing's right, little nimble beast that just flies all over the place. There's not I I've been everywhere on every single map with a loaf or a pair of loafs. I don't think there is anywhere I couldn't get on this map. I'll be interested. Apparently they're adding the uh Next update, I believe tomorrow. Will it count as later today now? I can't even remember what day it is. I oh, know it's still Sunday. <laughs> so tomorrow they're adding the update. And no doubt when I whip my loaf out, he'll eat that map for breakfast. And a good time will be had by all. Or if not, I'll just stick it in the back of a dolphin. Like I said, that's often what I do. Take it with me. Like I said, it's backpack, it's options. Every time, if you ever rolled a truck in this game, just say to yourself, if I had a loaf on me, would I have been able to get out of it? And the chances are you could have. I flew some more down the hill. I eventually rolled one of my loafs. Sent in loaf. Loaf number two. Plenty more where that came from. Yeah, flipped him and we're good. I was back on top of this rock. Just fancied jumping off, seeing what my chances are of landing. And as you have seen in videos before, I've rolled the loaf. I've landed on its side. And so well, I just did, I suppose it, I cut it out, not because... I was trying to avoid it, it was just like trying to keep the clip as short as I can. But yeah, sometimes it rolls on its side, like it's not like it'll never happen, but as you can see, it is pretty bloody good at not doing it, considering that's got a roof rack on as well, which does, relatively speaking, make it more top heavy. Uh, someone asked the other day, how do you put the loaf in the uh, sideboard? So, like that. <laughs> pretty quick, pretty used to it by now, so it doesn't take me long. Can you see? Bring the boys out. Bringing everything out. Dolphins, Ford Clips, P16s, Tagers, Vorons, Zixes. I don't know how you say the plural of Zixes. See? Rounded me up an army. An army of loafs. What you can see in front of you could conquer any map. I'm like about ready to do a war speech. But uh, motivate me loafs. In fact, this is how you motivate a loaf. See? It's how you motivate a loaf. Just got to tell him straight. He's going to beat this map, no matter what it throws at him. I mean, what a goddamn horse of a vehicle. All of them. All 12 of them. And I've still got more to go. You see? I'm out in the P16, having a good time. Best horn in the game, doing some drifts. I've got a loaf with me. Times are just better with a loaf. Going through the ice as well. Again, if I was on my own now, just imagine I was in the P16. I'm going to get to this point. I've been through it loads of times with the P16. It always does the same. It does the same with most vehicles in this game. It just bunches up chunks of ice to the front. Once they kind of sit vertically, that's it. I'm basically locked. As far as going forwards, anyway. Fortunately, the P16 is a bit of a beast. More of a beast than it gets credit for, I reckon. Um, it had enough grip to reverse its way out of there. As you can see, I was trying to smashed my way through but it just kept making the same wall of ice all the way along so it was time time to deploy the loaf and he's off K 
kick some ice out of the way. You ain't got time for that. Got P16s to rescue. <laughs> I got unlucky again. I dropped through. But my life don't give up. Stick a winch on the P16, dragged it over, reverse P16 out, use the game's piss takingness against itself. See? Pop the loaf in front, shove him through the ice wall, and we're good. And again, if I didn't have a loaf with me, I'd either have to recover the P16 and have another go, or send something from the garage. Whereas now, <laughs> it took a few goes. You'll see ice flying off in a second. Like, this thing was glitched big time. Not, well, yeah, like, the ice was just locked in place. So, it did take me a couple of run-ups with a loaf, but I only cut about, like, 30 seconds to a minute out. It wasn't a lot. I just, again, this video could just as easily be an hour or two long. No problem. So, you travel in pairs when you're going across the ice. Two loafs, two vorons. If I'm honest, I'd probably... If I was going to do it again, I'd put the Voron Grad in front. Like I said though, another reason why you want to get yourself a loaf, moral support loafs. These Vorons wouldn't know what they were doing without a loaf on the back. It's like Commander. Commander Loaf sitting on his perch, giving orders, telling them what to do. Steer left, steer right. Have better steering, in the case of the Voron AE. See, I've cut through here before in a lot of stuff, and uh, I suppose this is a double point, is like, obviously get yourself a loaf, but yeah, travelling in pairs is a lot better than travelling alone, and because i got the Voron Grad, give me a nudge, get me through. Uh, one awkward thing here is because they've put a lot of tree branches lying over that don't always just disappear immediately, you kind of can punch them through the ice as well. They just kind of sit between your axles, and they can be a pain in the ass. But a lot of stuff doesn't actually make it through here at all. I end up having to winch to one of the trees in the background and just pull myself through far enough. But, um, yeah. Like I said, because I've got a moral support loaf. Well, I've got two moral support loafs, so I was always going to get through there. Neither of them have got winches. Neither of them have got their seatbelts on. Like I said, I could put a crane on. Uh, like, yeah, the little crane on and use it as, like, a roll cage, which I have. Have done and will do again, goddammit. I suppose this is like a little side thing. I'm uh, on my way to the cliffs again. I suppose I'm in the Vorons now. But see, that's how the loaf rolls. He's got mates. He doesn't need to tackle his own terrain when he can just get one of his mates. Sit in the sideboard. Should be called the loaf board by now. So anyway, we'll get to the cliff, of course, with a loaf at the helm. No problem. You can see though with the shallow steering and the Voron AE. I definitely... Uh, I'm I believe the Voron Grad has deeper steering overall, but it's still fairly slow steering overall. But I still prefer it. You can see now, I just wanted to turn and go down this rock, clip something. The steering just wasn't quick enough to turn back, hit the tree. But the fact that it still didn't roll. And then there, just too shallow. Didn't quite go. One last little go with double dolphin. Double dolphins and double loafs. I mean, look at him. Jumping around and having the time of his life. Double dolphins and double loafs. As I said, you can get anywhere. Anywhere in the game. Well, you can with just two loafs, but... The double dolphin is pretty effective, I'll be honest. So just one more of many ways. The loaf is a goddamn horse of a vehicle and you need to get yourself a loaf. Rams its way through some pretty awkward trees. Like, a lot of stuff I wouldn't be able to get through there because, like, I reckon the Hummer would be too wide, the Tatarin would be too wide, the Lodestar, at least the back end would probably be too wide. Well, that's another big thing with the loaf. It's, like, I appreciate there's a lot of things that, in a certain situation, would be more suited. Like, if you wanted to flip a Colob over, obviously, if, ideally, you'd rather be flipping the Colob over with something like the Dolphin or another Colob rather than... Uh, a scout, but yeah, that now means I've got to bring a club or something everywhere with me, and this is just like a little, uh, yeah, just a little pocket monster. It's no hassle bringing him along, but and when you need him, he's a goddamn beast. And as far as doing all the scouting duties in the game, like 
it's not the fastest vehicle, but I honestly think it's pretty decent just as a scout. I admit, if I was on, say, like, I'm not sure what the new map is, I can't even remember if it's snowy or not, but say on Lake, Lake Covd, it wouldn't be the best just to take on its own, because it wouldn't be doing too well in the snow. If you were scouting stuff like Michigan and that, I think this would be fine. It can get up, like, not far off vertical slopes. Um, yeah, it's got very nice steering. Like I said, it's very agile and everything, so I like this windy mountain and I'm going up. And I did take the pit. I went up there. I went up. It's so steep that it rolled back on itself. So I was pushing it. But you see now you'd think, oh, life's done. But you just got to give him a minute. He's just cracking his knuckles. He's assessing the situation. And he's off. I, that genuinely was a glitch. Like, I did get out of there. No problem. I just drove off. I'd rather it glitched just after than, like, right in the middle of it. But, yeah. There's a bit of a poor timing on that one. So I was driving out, I rolled it on purpose just to show you, again, I could have just been flying around in the Dolphin. Of course I'm in the time of my life because Dolphin is my favourite truck in the game, hence why these two together, <laughs> you will always see me in. Um, yeah, I've got the autonomous winch on this Lofo, also got the roof rack and everything. I rolled the Dolphin, it'd be basically game over at the minute or I'd have to bring something from the garage etc. And at the minute I'm in white, no not white belly, is it white belly? Yeah I think it is. <laughs> Um, pretty near the garage, but imagine I was in Pedro Bay, two maps away where like the nearest garage is. You could see there as well, just a second ago, with the winch. It's not specific to the loaf. I noticed it yesterday, I believe, on the load start and something else. Can't remember off the top of my head. It was like I winched the dolphin, but it was still locked in place, like with the physics. But I just took the winch off, put it on the front, and it flipped it, no problem. And this is still the same one. I'm on my way, on my way to the cliffs. See, so this is another reason. I mean, look at him. You look around, it's like, what a fucking horse of a vehicle. It's just ready to go. He's on his wheels. Out of fuel, not a problem. He's got his own spare fuel supply. He's got his own repair kits. It's all good to go. Well, I was going to put some uh, fuel in from the loaf, and I was like, hang on. Scout fuel trailer, you see? Naturally occurring one, of course. I don't like to mess my beaches up. Oh. Really not a naturally occurring cargo over then. But yeah, I've again. It was not staged, I didn't have multiple attempts or anything, it was just stuck the winch on. I had to wait a little bit for it to scoot forward because its back end was like on the rock. But that is why you need to get yourself a loaf. Look at them. Beauties. Like a full stable of them. And they're all worth every single penny. I certainly suggest you get uh, at least one yourself. And uh, yeah, enjoy the next little bit of the clips, another reason why I like them. Before I go though, obviously I've uh, got to choose my seat, got to observe the action, and bam, what's up Dolphin? See, the loaves are back, there's no stopping them now, <laughs> unless YouTube copyright does, please don't YouTube copyright, can't do a loaf like that. But yeah, that is about it for today, um, I hope you've enjoyed, get yourself a loaf, get yourself 12 loaves, get yourself 24 loaves, I mean look at him, he knows what he's doing. Got some pretty good leaning going on, but he doesn't bail out. He's a goddamn professional. And that's just one of many reasons why you need to get yourself a loaf. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's about it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.